Yo yo, this is Dover Black Hat Gaming. I do RPG games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and many more. Subscribe to see more and enjoy the video.
his time. always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why. I read stories about the Solitude Windmill, but I didn't expect it to be that big. Welcome to Solitude, home of the... Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? What are you going to do after you I have to admit I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh no, this won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? I 
find that highly unlikely, but the court will love it. I'm writing it in. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? And they got the orders backwards. <laughs> yes, I'm writing that in. <laughs> it should be good for a laugh from the court. <laughs> it has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Or likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Viarmo, I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, winter hold disguises, an attack on solitude total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight, but they reversed Olaf's orders much to Winterhold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in... Recovering the poem will be well rewarded. Feels Unbelievable! You've done us a great service right. here. I can't you begin to thank you enough. Home for an Soon! Isn't that Soon. Time again already? These things must be Fair done enough. properly. You Let's will be inducted as part of the festival itself. Oh, 
Well done. I need you Very to go exciting. speak to Yorn. I he was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Oh, I'm sorry. Tell him Very to finish the preparations. The I festival know. is back on! Hold your tongue, wizard, or you're likely to lose it. I should very much like to see you try it, my dear steward. Stop it, both of you. You're acting like children. Yes? I've heard the Empire oh. plans to what would you like me to wear? Our trading ships. Falk, you've got to do something about this. I trust you have Senator a good Cullier taste in wardrobe. We need the funds to arm and provision more troops. Ready when you are. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. We should have the festival soon. We should have the festival soon. Aldmeri Dominion in my position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing, history, and the finer points of court life. I suppose I should return to my papers. Good Ildi, soak in the lore. Yorn, what happened during the Red Year? Um, Morrowind suffered a massive explosion? Vardenfell's Red Mountain erupts. Ah, Besides the Bard to be. Did Viarmo send you? I'll tell everyone we're ready, but we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Remember, being a bard isn't just about the music. From the castle, you used to just be able to see solitude over the mountains. It's exactly what I imagined. A task keeps making me Ah, myself. the bard to be. You should tell him to mind Did his own. Did send you? Aya, ah, yeah. you're so mean. Great. Tell Looks like amazing. you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. Solitude. We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, He becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard! I think they like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you.
hope everyone enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe and hit the bell icon see you all on the next video enjoy life and stay gaming